game Maher. You know, you've got work to do today. Come on, we're, we're got some filming to do. What? Come on, we're, film it. What? We are filming today? Got to fix your car somehow. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, I guess we'll do some work today. No slack. Hello everybody, welcome to Newbies Work on Cars. Uh, we are back on this Prelude. Uh, we bought, I bought the uh, head gasket kit, so it's time for us to go get cranking on it. Um, I never done a head gasket before, so this is the first time. It's gonna be an adventure, and I'll be taking you with me here to do this adventure. Uh, thank you for watching, and let's, uh, let's start on it. All right, so what I'm thinking the way I would be starting uh, this is uh, we'll take a few things from the top in here. Uh, I'll take the spark plug wires, uh, I'll take the valve cover uh, off here, then also we'll drain the coolant using this instead of going underneath the car and you know do it that way for me it's easier. You know, just me being lazy. Um, then we'll get the, adjust the timing, that's why I have the tire off. Uh, we'll adjust the timing, make sure it's on top dead center and uh, We'll start removing the other things from there. Um, I already downloaded the uh, the service manual uh, for this specific uh, engine, and you know we are going after the steps and parts that's uh, needed for that. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get the cranking on it. I'll start with this. Basically, uh, we'll drain the coolant. I have drain pan on the bottom, so don't freak out. I'm not sending it to the environment. At least I'm trying. Yep, we're good. In this clip here, I am taking the uh, nuts from the valve uh, cover. Uh, some of them are actually hidden. It took me a little bit of a time to figure out all of them where they are hiding. Uh, some of them underneath the uh, wire for the uh, uh, alternator. Uh, some under the uh, uh, hidden in the corners, basically. Uh, some of them in the middle between these spark plugs. So first thing first, you need to take the uh, uh, spark plugs. Uh, cover take the spark plugs uh wires out and then basically after that uh you know remove the alternator wire and basically you can reach and remove the uh, valve cover from there so that's what i'm doing in here and uh, we'll go to the next step after that mm -hmm. What I did so far to get this valve cover uh, out, basically you have this hose to remove, this hose to remove, then you have underneath the uh, 
the alternator wires, you need to take the alternator wires. It's one bolt and one uh, connector. Uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you have a uh, ground uh, wire here connected. You take that off. And also to make it a little bit easier, I removed the bracket here that's, you know, hold everything. I just took it loose. We gotta take it off with the uh, VTEC solenoid and everything off from the head later on. So we'll, we'll be here anyway. Here we go. In this clip, basically, I am uh, taking off the uh, spark plugs. The reason behind that is the next step going to be uh, marking the timing belt, and which is basically we need to. Uh, turn the crankshaft bolt and uh, having the spark plugs off that means there's no compression it's going to turn much easier for us we don't have to fight with it it's going to be easier doing it this way all right so we'll take a closer look at the engine here so basically, here are the cam gears, and uh, these are the two cams, and I forgot what they call these bolts on the top, but anyway, so as I was mentioning in here, uh, basically, you have to take uh, the alternator wires off, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight or nine i don't know. okay anyway these so make sure you take these off because you know they're were kind of hidden so the next step what we are going to do is we need to time it so we'll be looking over here hey al what are you guys doing messing up with the stuff Yeah, we're messing up stuff. Hey Al, say hi to the camera. Hi everyone. You see, he's doing some, some real work. This is how it should look like. <laughs> so finally I was able to get the uh, valve cover off. Mm -hmm. Finally. That's the only thing I was able to get off. <laughs> so yeah, I need to time it. So I'm thinking I already have the cam bolt off. Mm -hmm. You know, like we got the cam. Yeah. Uh, easily. What else do you think? Do you remember this off the top of your head or I have yeah, to go back take, to the manual? Take the engine mount out, make sure you put some support underneath the engine. Take that mount out. Think? Yeah. If you take that mount out, you'll have better clearance. You'll lift it up more. Okay. And then when you time it, it'll be easier for you to time it. Make sure you, basically, before you take this out, make sure, usually you have to have a special tool to hold it. So it will not spin. So, anyway, you're going to take your head anyway out. Yep. But remember, mark it so that way when you put it back together, it's going to exactly how you mark it. You mark the belt on the top and yep. the bottom. Yep. Other than that, you're doing good. Alright, do you think should I time it first, then take yeah, it, or first, just. First time it. First okay. First time it. Make sure it's on time. And then you take it apart. So okay. You time it, I mean, mark it, and then take it apart. Okay. Interference, yeah. Interference, yeah. Oh. Yep, lovely stuff. Shouldn't be difficult to do though. Right there. It's so easy. Except me have no idea what I'm doing, so Well you're doing good <laughs> for somebody who hasn't done any, any work like that before. I mean Nope, first time. Just make sure you mark everything. Do we need do you think this uh 
adjustable or I don't have to mark it? Somewhere? Yeah, this one take take that cover off. Yeah. Okay. And then mark it. It'll be better if you mark it from the inside and then need that cap. I'm thinking to mark this like a just one thing to mark it over here and yeah. on the other side. Yep, yeah. do that as well. There's okay. Okay, I just that's what I wanted to confirm, I'll just sure. <laughs> Alrighty, have fun. Okay. Okay, so what we are doing here, I have the breaker bar on the bottom. It's a 19 millimeter for the uh, crank uh, shaft. And we need to turn it clockwise until we have the marks matching where it needs to be. So I'll give it a try. If I couldn't figure out what I'm doing, I'll go back to the <laughs> to the manual and uh, see where they want us to have it. Oh, somebody been here before. Several days later. All right, guys. It's uh, it's been a few days until we reach this point. The only thing left is uh, take the head and the intake is gonna go together. And uh, I, we did a lot of things to get to that uh, to this uh, stage. Uh, basically, uh, Bill was helping me out last few days, and today David was stopping by, and I was like, "Come here, David. You gotta help me out with this." <laughs> so. I'll just walk you around a little bit here and see what kind of things we did so far. Alright, let's go ahead and add it. I was just messing with it and did like this and the whole head went off. So I guess we have uh, some good chance to take it off easily or easily enough. You usually have to fight with the head to do that. Alright, you ready? Um. Still got two wires on that side you guys do. Hmm, there's something over here. One thing in our way was uh, thermostat housing, right? Yeah, I think so. Because there's a coolant uh, line comes from the back and it's hard to reach, so we'll take the whole thing off. Well, it was mentioned in the manual, but we skipped it. We didn't think it's uh, necessary, but actually it is. <laughs> it's uh, most trivial things. Now? I hope so. Oh wow, awesome. Hmm? I see something. What? Kind of important. There's a big plug on the back side of this thing. Yeah. And it looks pretty. Looks important, huh? Finally, finally, finally. Whoa. Yeah, do you hear that car? Lovely. 
Anyway, uh, after, I don't know, three, four days for me, at least, <laughs> finally got the head off. To be honest with you, it's much easier to take the engine off than to take the heads off, than, you know, rather than taking the head up by itself. Oh my God, every single wire was fighting us. Every single uh, clip was fighting us. God. All right, I guess this uh, will conclude uh, part one of this. And uh, I need to check the head and the, uh, the bottom end for warpage. And uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. We'll see how we can assemble this again. Again, uh, thank you for watching Newbies Work on Cars and have a wonderful day.